Hi guys and welcome to the second tutorial. Uh, okay, I will start. If you click on new families, uh, you will see this uh, all kind of uh, family types, starting family types. Basically, 95% of starting heavy families, you will need to go with this metric generic model. So I'm going with this. Uh, it will show up, uh, show up a reference level view. So basically, most important thing in Revit families is uh, using uh, reference planes or reference lines. I'm personally using reference plane here, like 99% of time. You can, uh, you need to align everything to this uh, planes. And you can now you can then uh, add parameter and it will will it will be working um, uh, very well if you put it all right together. So uh, we would like to uh, create basic shape of big wardrobe. So let's start. Let's uh, make it uh, really simple. So. First, I am uh, usually do uh, adding reference planes like this. So it will be for with the width of a wardrobe. So I put two, two of reference planes like this. Uh, then you need to make a dimension to uh, this uh, two reference planes like this. Okay. Uh, put equality so it will if you change uh, uh, I will show you so another dimension to this and you click on this and you want to add parameter to this so if you change um, later just this parameter so it will be for this uh, example width so you click on this create parameter you creating parameters so i uh, normally put this very simple letter for like w for width so uh, you know uh, we will talk this about later just for uh, for now width is enough so it will be for okay let's put okay and now we have no width parameter so if you want to change it, uh, you need uh, go here, family type. I have shortcut for this uh, FT, but uh, I will click like this. Okay, so you can see now in dimensions, we have width parameter uh, with this value. So let's change it to 2000. And you can see it automatically, automatically uh, make it wider. So we have for now first parameter ever. <laughs> so I will try to make it a little further. Okay. Okay. I uh, make it a little small, smaller too. So you can, um, mm, if you click on on something, you can just click on arrow case and. It will align if you want okay so we have width uh, let's um, add the depth so again reference line sorry no not reference line reference plane sorry reference plane add dimension so and uh, create another parameter depth but we will just one letter i it will be more simple and uh, more uh, better for your understanding uh, later okay so depth is uh, set so let's go to family type and change it for example basically big wardrobe have like 600 um, depth mainly okay if i change it uh, 
why change it uh, just this uh, reference plane not this uh, because this one this two are if you can see pinned pinned so it's uh, pinned in place so they won't move and uh, so this is why just this reference plane will move so okay so we have now uh, basic uh, reference planes putting on this and uh, we uh, want to create um, solid so let's go to the front view okay uh, basically if you have wardrobe you have from um, bottom like maybe I don't know 60 or 80 millimeters just a uh, bottom full bottom of wood or something so uh, i usually create like this foot so uh, this um, we don't have to put uh, uh, any parameters so just change it for 60 for example yeah and uh, if you lock it it uh, never will change this uh, this uh, value so I have 60 millimeter footing for my wardrobe okay uh, next part let's try to uh, put another reference plane okay so I make it also a little smaller okay uh, let's make a dimension to this and this will be height same you don't need any change here okay let's go to family types and um, with we'll make it like this and i think this is like basically most common uh, values of for all uh, dimensions for wardrobe i think okay so we have now almost all uh, basic uh, dimensions so let's create solid so go to create extrusion click on rectang rectangle and uh, let's do do it like this okay you now can see four locks if i just click on them four times it will automatically lock to my every reference planes where they lay so this to this reference this line to this this to this so it's perfectly locked to those reference planes i've made so now it's full parametric it will change according exactly my uh, width parameter and height parameter uh, second method to align this it's like this you can i i prefer first way but uh, you can also do it like this you just make uh, like this uh, uh, rectangle and i think it's uh, it should be yeah the, here and with align tool you can align this reference this line to reference plane so just click on what you want what on uh, which place you want to align that line so i first need to click on reference plane and then on line and you can see this lock you will turn this lock up uh, same same but you can see it's a little more time consuming so okay let's make it um, first way so just you just go like this and one two three four and it's done okay go to the uh, upper to reference level view and you can see in a default uh, way it's uh, uh, showing like this so you need to make this aligned with uh, my depth 
you just click on lock and also on the center center reference plane just lock so basically we lock every every way we everything uh, is now locked and it's uh, all three parameters will uh, adjust uh, will change uh, if we change all parameters it will change accordingly so for example i go to 3d view uh, let's go for something shaded yeah go family types and if you can see 8 2000 and everything is fully adjustable now i will go back okay let's delete this view okay so we are in front let's go to the front yeah so again if i change height height it will automatically you can see nice and easy okay and now let's uh, let's make hole in um, wardrobe uh, best way it's not to the best way to do is is to it's to make it a brief void so so you can uh, uh, see in uh, again in create go to the void forms but firstly we need to Mm, add another reference planes so let's go and add another ones so like this like this like this and like the this so another put dimension here yes align dimensions i have shortcut for it uh, dd so dimensions So I have now all three dim uh, reference planes uh, create a dimension for it. So uh, I won't uh, put parameter to this because I think in general, for example, thickness of uh, border wall is like 25 millimeters. So so you don't have to make a parameter for everything because you will have in the end very uh, much uh, a lot of parameters but and it won't be so clear to what uh, do every parameter so for this i put 25 sorry 25 okay you need again click on all of three and oh you don't have okay click on one lock click on second one lock third one lock okay so and all, also you never forget for both two sides for reference lever side and front so let's create reference plane also here so 25 and lock go to the front view and create void extrusion again this is basically same as a uh, solid extrusion so go like this to this again you need to lock this up and go to floor you click OK so you can now see this is if if I click on this you can see on the right screen generic model void so you you can see this is a void and this is generic model so it's solid just click on void edge of void and put it on this reference plate which we made uh, a while ago and I put lock on this okay and on this same so on front and on the edge so now we should have normal basic wardrobe you can see and with footings 60 millimeters yeah it will be still 60 millimeters so 
so this this is like if uh, and you can see now I will change parameters perfectly recording this it will change yeah so you have like now basic um, family parameter fast uh, last thing to do just click on extrusion you need to go to material you can see material go on this little like a rectangle you can associate family parameter for this so you just click on this create new parameter and I uh, normally put base it's it uh, it will be base material it will it uh, you can um, after that you can change material just click on uh, this parameter and it will be it will change all with base parameter so just put base okay go to family type you can see now material finishes I have base go for example try to go with some black laminate black for example yeah okay go to render realistic and you can see it's black okay so thank you guys for second video and um, I will later um, make a video about um, parts of inside so hello and thank you again